We made a fake train, Watson. Watson, I do believe that we have created an exact replica of the train that vanished in front of us last night. The criminal mind can be most inventive. I am somewhat in awe. So, such a thing is possible. If someone went to all the trouble of creating this fake train, then it was surely with the intention of stealing the real one. Ah, Watson, you should not jump to conclusions. In fact, this does not tell us very much at all, except that the train did not evaporate into thin air. Although you half suspected it. Huh. At any rate, we now need to find where the real train might be hidden. I suggest we use my archives to find a more detailed map of our surroundings. Well, I hope that justifies our having to load your massive archive suitcase onto the cab. It made us extremely unpopular with our driver. <laughs> B! Take train. Spare parts. Train never reached Evesham. It disappeared earlier and was faked by somebody using a hand car. Truth? It's gonna be right here. The big bubble is gonna be right there. It's gonna be crazy. Okay. Yo, should we talk with this dumb butt about... Ah, uh, Nope. We shouldn't. A telegraph. Right, cool. Fishing, right. Of course, naturally. Tab. Some of the evidence can be used in the investigation and will be marked with specific icons. Search archives. Common map of this railway district that was found at Evesham Station. Wait, so how do I search the archives? Arvinson is a wealthy man who holds a high position in society, clearly indicated by his expensive clothes and golden ring. His Australian hat and crocodile shoes may allow us to deduce that he is a foreigner who traveled to England. Most likely, he is here due to a business trip. By this passenger's hands and clothes, he appears to be a specialized worker. He has no baggage and is alone. He is not traveling nor on vacation with his wife. He takes the train on a daily basis to get to work and back. In this event, he should be accustomed with the railway and be familiar with the stations and his regular fellow passengers. The station master of Bradlington is fairly young. He tries to keep his uniform clean and he is attentive to his duties. Fresh ink stains upon his fingers of his right hand indicate that the young man has been writing a great deal. It seems that he has almost completed his education, and this is his first serious position. Word up! Hmm. How do I search my archives? Watson! Watson! How do I search my archives? Hmm. Will they be out with our cab, maybe? Excuse me. Ah! Now we have two maps. We must combine them properly. What? Oh, goodness. Okay. Hey, hey, shh, stop. Here it is. There is a side branch to the railway. Its first switch is located between Bridlington and Chesterfield stations. There Perf. is one more station to be visited. It is located between Chesterfield and Evesham, and there should be a side railway to the nearby quarry. There is a small section of a railway at the end of Evesham station. Perfect. Watson, we have things to do. Uh, let's go to this station.
Man, I really- God, I know I keep talking about this, but I love the character models in this game. I'm sad that Watson is so different in voice and in face, but I really like- really like the way everything looks in this game. It's very nice. Oh, we have some sinister music. <gasps> Cutscene. Oh, bye. A funny character. He looks anxious. And he is not an Englishman. Also true. Maybe he's supposed to be Chilean. Newspaper articles on horse racing. Hurdle, steeplechase, and flat racing. He is a true enthusiast, Holmes. Probably means he doesn't have much money, yo. Betting slips for horse racing. Yeah, man. He addicted. Bet. The sums are quite impressive. It can be an expensive vice. This man had probably used all his savings. Oh, you helping them out? Since you don't got no money? You told like- A telegraph. Hey, don't worry about it. You'll get lots of dollars if you help us with this weird scandal. And he was like, sick, I'm on it. I'm on it. Because that's what I would say if somebody asked me to be part of anything like that. I'm on it. Hmm. This scent is familiar to me. Is it but chilly? in order to recognize it, I'm does it smell like chile? There we go. A yeah. brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. Ricardo. You already know the name of this man? Holmes, you amaze me. <laughs> no, Watson, I refer to the cigar. It is a Ricardo Turrent, a Mexican cigar of an excellent quality. Quite an expensive one, too. Just pop that in my pocket. Ashtray. Burnt paper, you say? This ashtray is full of ash and cigar stubs. Those Chilean swine, they think they can snatch the future of our company from under our nose. We must not Apparently, allow it to happen. There was a conflict between the Mexicans and the Chileans. A greenish brown cigar with a strong aroma, a hint of peppermint. These ashes and cigar stubs are similar to the one that we found on the floor. Some of the stubs were recently smoked. There are others that appear fairly old. That means that the fellow spent several days here. Judging by his clothes, he's hardly a traveler or a tramp. Well concluded, my dear fellow. A man who smoked the Ricardo brand of Mexican cigar spent several long days at Doncaster Station. This ashtray is for Cool. Hmm. Sir, I need to talk with you about some stuff, sir, please. Do you happen to know anything about uh, stuff, sir? in the warehouse. Oh. What's under that? I don't get to find out. Just gonna be curious forever. Uh, Watson, 
Would you like some tea? No. <laughs> no. No, I would not. Just asking. Jeez. Oh, hey. Good day to you, sir. My name is Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. John Watson. We are investigating the case of the vanished train. Is that so? Well, good day, gentlemen. I am Mr. Duff, the station master of this station. I'll be happy to help you in any way I can, but there's not much that I can tell you about last night. No. Oh, his brow just furrowed. Melancholy. No watch. Did you pawn your watch, sir? <gasps> Recently divorced. Because you be gambling too much, girl. Oh, man. Came back around already. Okay. I missed something. Oh. Missing button. You ain't doing too good. Did any passengers leave or board the train last night? No. I saw no one as usual. I reported the train's passage by telegraph. Just the same as all the other nights. <laughs> I observe that you are a gambling man, Mr. Duff. You had hoped that your relocation to this small town might have helped ease your addiction. But it was not to be. I beg your pardon? Addiction to what? Uh, horse racing tickets? We found a number of horse racing tickets inside your office. Well, well, we all have our weaknesses. An expensive obsession, surely, for a station master? It is none of your business. I occasionally attend the races with my colleagues. And anyway, that's my private life. Man. There was a gentleman of Mexican origin, I believe, in the waiting room. Did you notice him? What? A Mexican? Here in the back of beyond? Are you quite sure about that? Goodbye, sir. You are useless slash a terrible liar. Can't really tell which. Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Examine the side railway branch that leads to the quarry. Examine Doncaster Railway Station. All right. Oh. Holmes, look. Oh. There's a flooded area over here. <gasps> Is there a train in there? I believe that the flooded area might be worth checking. Me too, dog. Uh. Hey, Watson, what, what should I do? I'm always. Hmm. I'm gonna look through the rest of this. Left luggage. Railway post bags. Right. This post bag belongs to the station master. Oh, you gonna have some important letters just hanging out? My darling, I ask you to trust me this time. I shall soon have more than enough money to repay the house mortgage. It's only a matter of days. You may continue living in the house without me since that is your wish. Please know that I still care about you and hope that you will forgive me one day despite all of the harm I've caused you in recent years. Nailed it! The station master appears to have found himself in some financial trouble in reply to your last warning letter I wish to assure you that I shall soon honor all of the latest installments that I need to pay according to my debts Interesting. train passed through Doncaster station the station master reported it the train never passed through Doncaster station the station master lied and sent a false report Perhaps he was bribed with the money he desperately needed. I get the feeling it passed through Doncaster. Wait, let me look at... 
Oops. Zoom. Because the switch is up here. But I guess that's only if it was switched off. But they wouldn't have just thrown it into the... Into the flood. Because then no one would make any money off of it. So... Was I in here earlier? Yeah, I was. He's like, there aren't any Mexicans here. I'm like, um... Sir, you are blind. You are a blind man. Okay, what if I run down this way? Oh, what's in here? Oh. Man! Hmm. Can I tea any of this? How am I supposed to inspect this if nothing pops up, yo? <gasps> oh, wait. This railway branch should lead to the quarry. Let us take a look. The rail is rusted and looks old, but the railway is still usable. Interessant. So it could have just plopped in here. Oop. The railway ends here. That is strange. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna can't run up here. I'm too beautiful. I'm too beautiful to be in the mud. Come on now. Oh, I think that's just water. Where is this dude? Huh? I went in here. Where are my things? Examine the side railway branch that begins at the railway switch. Examine the side railway branch. Leads to the quarry station. So now is there anything to examine over here? Not really. Hmm. Let's ask him about it. It appears that you may be at risk of some flooding along the line here. You mean that the whole bloody lake is at our feet? Quite so. But it is strange, because according to my map, there should be a quarry here, and behind that, the lake. How should I know? I only arrived here a few months ago. And where did you work before that? Well, I was working in Nottingham. But I asked for a quieter place, so they transferred me here. Life is cheaper. I can't really complain. Goodbye, sir. Hmm. It is obvious that we cannot inspect the quarry. Instead, we can check the beach area around the flooded lake. I inspect the beach. I'm on it. Oh, I see. Inspect the beach. Inspect the beach. 